All right, so we'll be looking at the major salivary glands, which is like the parotid gland, the submandibular gland, the sublingual gland, all right? But this one now, we are not talking about this one will produce this type of saliva, no, 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 no. We are talking about them based on histology, all right? So the exam question was briefly state the histological differences between the major salivary gland. So it's for you to know that the major salivary glands are these three. All right, so your answer should revolve around those three. So the three major salivary glands include the parotid gland, submandibular gland, sublingual gland. Now, let's talk about their histology, all right, and how they differ. Now, you can choose to put this thing in a table. You can choose to talk about just the parotid gland, the submandibular gland, the sublingual gland, okay? And the, the teacher will know that you, already, you still know it, okay? So either way that I choose to answer this question is fine. Parotid gland has a serous secretion. It is predominantly composed of what? Acinized cells, 90% of it. It has a few mucous cells. Has striated ducts which are long and branching. All right? Adipose tissues are present in the parotid gland. Once you finish this, once you state these five points, that's all, all right? So going to the next five points on submandibular gland, you see that the submandibular gland is like, the submandibular gland is like in between parotid gland and sublingual, all right? So it has a mixed serous and mucous secretion, all right? It has mixed serous and mucous secretion. The acinal cells here are about 60 to 70%, and mucous cells are about what, 30 to 40%, all right? So that's why it is now producing serous and mucous secretion, right? It has larger mucous cells with more abundant granules. It is short, it is less branch. Okay, it is short and has less branch striated dot, okay? It has less adipose tissues present in it, okay? So this is just a histological slide. Which you could take time to actually look at it. Pause this video to actually like put it on a big screen, look at it, observe the histology. This one too is another good one. Let me take my picture off. So this is another good one, all right? See histology of parotid gland, submandibular gland, sublingual gland, all right? If you are not able to pick the differences from here, just cram everything like the way I just said, all right? So I'm saying you pass them now and know them later, okay? Um, the sublingual gland, sublingual now, that's the one beneath the tongue, sublingual, beneath the tongue. Then it is mucous secretion predominantly. It has mucous cells about 80 to 90%, has very few acinized cells. There's no striated dots, all right? There's more connective tissue and there's less adipose tissue, all right? So that's the histological differences between the major salivary glands that we have.